Hey guys, um, sorry I've been MIA. I promise I have a good excuse. I've been really, really busy, but I promise that I'm coming back to you really soon. But I did wanna come and make a really short and quick video about the most recent presidential election. As you guys all know, Barack Obama is going to be our next president. And of course, I'm really excited and I'm really proud to have been a part of his victory and just to be a part of history. It's really amazing. I remember when I was younger telling my dad I wanted to be the first black female president, to which he responded, uh, you know the president has to be really smart. Thanks, dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm so not cut out for politics. But um, what I did want to say, though, um, I've been filled with like a lot of emotions since, you know, Tuesday night, uh, including excitement and relief. But um, something that I wasn't really expecting was some of the negative feedback from people that I thought, you know, I considered to be close friends and acquaintances. And I got on Facebook after the results had been announced and I saw some really not PC and bitter, hateful, slightly racist Facebook status messages from people that I consider to be friends of mine. And it was just, it was really hard, you know, it was really tough and it was really disappointing. And um, with all that in mind, for those of you who didn't support Barack Obama, you know, I really hope that you at least give him a chance. You know, he's not in office yet. He's not going to be in office until January. And we can all sit around and speculate about what he is or isn't going to do, but he hasn't done it yet. So, you know, please give him respect and give him a chance to hopefully prove you guys wrong. And I was so impressed with John McCain's speech because he talked about bringing this country together, and that's really important. On that same note, to those of you who did support Barack Obama, I want to encourage you to be humble because a sore winner is just as bad as a sore loser. And for those people who supported McCain, the last thing they want right now is Obama supporters like rubbing in their face that they lost. And um, I think it's really important for those of you who do have friends or encounter people who didn't vote for Barack if you supported him to be respectful of the fact that, you know, McCain didn't pull through and extend yourself to them and say, I really hope that you'll give our new president a chance and that, you know, we can come together and see past our differences and work together to make this country a better place because it's not going to happen overnight and one man is not going to change it. I really think and believe that Americans as a whole, we need to take some responsibility for the predicament we're in, you know? Don't blame the bad, the big bad, like, wealthy companies. Like, we need to take some responsibility. Like, we screwed up, you know? We tried to live beyond our means. A lot of people, I've... I've done it myself, you know, and now I'm paying for it because, like, the beginning of the month, I'm, like, freaking out because I have to pay all these bills and, I'm, you know, it's tough. So it's going to be a long journey, but I know that we can do it. And I just hope that everyone looks towards the future with lots of positivity and optimism. And... Um, yeah, thanks to everyone that voted and supported Barack. And thanks to everyone that voted and, you know, supported McCain or any of the other candidates that were running for president because Barack and McCain were not the only people that were running. Thank you for just getting out there and making your voice heard. And I hope that this will inspire people to get involved in politics and get informed about what's going on in our country because you can't just sit around and be lazy. You can't, you know, we have to uh, take responsibility for the state of this country and think it's really important. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to go. I'm sorry that I haven't been around. As always, you can check my blog, blog.francesca.net. I'm really trying to be on top of updating and writing more often. I also have pictures from my fabulous little wheezy 
Lil Wayne costume. Um, I hope you guys check it out and tell me how much you like it. I miss you guys, and I will be back with a real video soon. Promise. Okay. I think that's it.